Do you know how you're going to be getting your grades this year? Are you aware that the Department of Education have a proposal that involves public consultation from students, from parents, from carers, from social workers, and all sorts of people that are involved in the education and social welfare sector? Schools are currently closed at the moment. There are plans, of course, for the schools to reopen after the February half term, but these are dependent on a number of factors. For example, if the R rate goes down and whether or not the NHS can handle all of the COVID patients. So what does it mean for you? Now, I am going to outline brief things from this proposal just so that you are aware of what this is about. It is proposed that students would be assessed by their teachers in a period beginning in May into early June. Teachers would be submitting grades to the exam boards by mid-June. External quality assurance by the exam boards will be ongoing throughout June. Results would be issued to students once this quality assurance process is complete, most likely in early July. And students could appeal by submitting their appeals to their schools and colleges. So this is the proposal. So what does this mean? We were told that exams have been cancelled. Now there are proposals, there are plans by the Department of Education to bring in some sort of external assessment provided for by Ofcom, which is the governing body for education. So why should you be concerned about this? Well, because whatever the outcome of this consultation is, will determine how you are given your grades this year. Do you remember the fiasco of last year when the government used that controversial algorithm that favored some areas, some schools, over others, depending on the location that they were in in the United Kingdom. We don't want that to happen again. We don't want anybody being disadvantaged or anything like that. So you have an opportunity now to make your voices heard. How? In this video's description, I have got links where you can go straight to the government website and you can submit your concerns and your queries and your opinions on this. It doesn't matter what kind of background you're from, whether you go to a grammar school, whether you go to a state school, make your voices heard because everyone's views and opinions are important and it will help shape the outcome of this consultation. So you may be wondering why I'm making this video. I mean, why should you do something about this? Why is it important to you? Well, firstly, this consultation hasn't been widely publicized. So I am bringing it to your attention. You don't want to look back at this moment in your life, you know, at this pivotal moment in your life and think, you know what, I could have done something, but I didn't. So here's an opportunity to do something because it will affect your future. Why? I will share with you something. A student wrote in and what they wrote was absolutely amazing. It shows the maturity and the level of foresight and thinking that some of you have, which is wonderful to see. And this student, out of concern for you know, his fellow students, has shared some insights, which when I read it, I thought, you know what, there's nothing I can add to this. As an educator, as a, a teacher of many years, as an adult, there's nothing. This student has summed it up perfectly. There is nothing that I could add to this. So I will just read it for you. The student says that I believe this year to be the most consequential and pivotal year of student lives, especially for exam groups, especially for year 13. The educational devastation of this lockdown could have an impact on our lives for years to come. The student goes on to say, I too have experienced some days, some spells when I haven't been working too hard. But I look back and I think to myself, I used to be in the middle sets years ago in school when I was in year 10 and year 11. But today I am getting a selection of offers from the top universities in the country. Why? Because I realized how important it was to perform and to take exams seriously, such as midterm exam, mock exams, where I would really, really pour everything into it. I also saw that there were times when I didn't take exams seriously. And now these exams may be used to form my predicted grade. So you could see that this student already realizes the importance of data and how important it is for teachers to use this data to give you the grade that you deserve. Now, the next four months would be pivotal in your lives. And if you haven't realized why, well, understand this. Whatever grade you get, however you assess, if you're in year 13, for example, will determine the university you go to will determine the kind of people that you meet, the connections and the friends that you make, the links, the business links that you'll have. It may even determine the person that you spend the rest of your life with. That's how important, that's how much of an impact that this assessment period will have on you. 
So what can you do about it? First of all, get involved. Send in your opinions and your views. Secondly, keep working hard during lockdown. Don't treat this like a holiday, like some students have. Keep working, submitting all the work, covering everything as you would do if you were in school. Thirdly, set yourselves some goals. Keep yourself motivated. Give yourself small goals and continue to meet them and assessing yourself on how well you have met them. And parents and carers, I know that you are doing so much and we've all got so much on at the moment. And I know that you are always encouraging and motivating. If we could just make our students aware of how important this year is and the knock-on effect it will have for their futures. Remember the deadline for this is next Friday the 29th of January so please get your submissions in before that time. Goodbye for now and I hope that you get the grade that you deserve.